What's doing guys? I'm Kylie with KiwiBox.com Hanging out at Bad Boy right now With the very talented Day 26 I want to talk about your upcoming album It's titled Forever in a Day Now, who came up with this title? I was thinking of all kinds of things Like if, how could a girl like have forever in a day Or if, if I could sing If I could make a perfect day Of good things and bad things like, what would I call it? So I came up with um, Forever in a Day. What can listeners expect from this album? This album is just amazing, man. Across the board, man, from, from start to finish, man. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, even especially if you enjoy album one. And even if album one wasn't your feel, hey, album two, when we take it to the club, trust me, you gotta get it. Day 26, Forever in a Day, in stores, April 14th. How is this album showing your growth? We sound a whole, not to say we were sound bad the last album, but our vocals, everybody's vocals improved. A whole notch. Um, we had a lot of input in our record, so it was more of a day 26 feel this time to go around. So I'm just happy overall because it's, you guys are going to feel day 26 more of the label. So you guys have said that this album is going to take it to the next level. What do you mean by that? What we mean by taking it, taking it to the next, le next level is putting that day 26 stamp on there because we got so much more input. We got so much, so much cre more creative freedom in this situation. Diddy even kind of just let us go. When Diddy walks in the room, you guys still get a little nervous. When we see him now, it's more smiles, what's up, and you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. He look, you know, he respects our crafts more so I feel than he did the first time because the first album was really hand picked for us. I think it might have a big deal to do with that. Danny Kane is his daughter's all his, his girls is gone. He got we got we his new best friends. You know, what you I'm are saying? his best friends. <laughs> Who did you work with? <laughs> well, first off, let's, you know, the, we got a single, Stadium Music, mm -hmm. uh, which was done by uh, Brian Michael Cox. Uh, the new single that we've been putting out, Put It On Her, is uh, produced by Blaze and featuring Young Jock and Diddy. C Major, another up and coming producer, man, really dope. Then we went to JD, Babyface, The Pentagons, uh, Jazzy Faye, right? Tons of people. Uh, Neo. Neo, you know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, the, this record is amazing, man. And of course, the best thing about this album, y'all, don't, don't get too big on us doing this little name dropping that we're doing because the bulk of this album was done by. Day 26. So I've been watching Making the Band 4. What secrets can you let us in? It's, it's a lot of things y'all gonna find out about us that we would rather you guys not know. But however, Man, we all don't think we crazy. Cause I thought we was crazy. So y'all gonna see us getting to it in ways that we probably would never ever want to get into it. But however, it was necessary. Because at the end of the day, it brought us closer. In your opinion, crazy. You know, now that Danity Kane is not fully Danity Kane anymore. It ain't Danity Kane no more. Don't even. Ain't no Danity Kane. Just, uh, yes it is. Oh. I don't know. Well, what? This Somebody week, crazy. This week on Making the Van. <laughs> Sorry. We like Kiwis in the box. But if the Kiwi was around the box, we wouldn't even do it. Because the box is what the Kiwi made of. Kiwi box. Box. Pick it up.